guys welcome again to um o -Energy music world now today we are to talk about regimes now i'll try to divine and explain rhythm to my own best understanding now rhythm is something that is um repetitive and forms a background for music rhythm is not constant it's it is only repetitive that is if you are playing rhythm it doesn't mean you have to play every the same thing every time you could just make some little adjustment to make it more lively and um, 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 but it's not constant it's not constant or like beat <clears throat> now I want to give illustration of what rhythm would look like now you know we have beats that usually go like boom 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 kind of a thing and you want to form rhythm off of that now let's say we want to form a rhythm of uh, 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 I take coffee when I wake up in the morning. Now, I could form something like, I take coffee when I wake up in the morning. You know, that is a rhythm. But someone might think and say, I don't want it that way. I want my rhythm, you know, something different. So you could say, okay, I take coffee when I wake up in the morning. You know, that is another rhythm, but is a different rhythm entirely from the first one. Some people, some, some might even be faster, you know. I want to be faster and I want, I want, I want to take something like, I take coffee in the morning when I wake up, you know. Or I, I, I take coffee in the morning when I, you, you, I hope you just understand. That is what rhythm is all about. Now, there's a beat going steady. Then rhythm is formed off of that beat. Now, the rules of rhythm is it is important you understand the, the chord. I mean, sorry, the beat this time. Number one is beat. Make sure you are going with the beat. You are flowing with the beat. It is very important that way. You need to keep flowing as the beat is flowing. Just follow it like that. Okay? Then, number two thing is, is chord. Number two is chord. Don't forget, number one is beat. Number two thing is chord. Now, you might want to understand the chord changes that a keyboardist or the song itself is, you know, it's us that is changing. The way the chords are changing, you need to understand them before you form your rhythm. Make sure you understand to the fullest what the chord is saying. Now, it is not a crime to ask what, probably the keyboardist, what, what is this changes that you are playing? What, what is the chord you are playing? Okay. So you can approach the person and just ask what is the code if you don't understand it fully because it is very wrong at times when you play something you don't you play on something you don't understand because you you will never form a very good thing you know you can't form a good thing of something you don't know something you don't have something you don't digest something you don't understand okay so you could ask what is the code so number one thing I mean number one second the second one is understand the chord changes now you could form your rhythm off of that. Then another thing I usually think about is other members of the band. What are they playing? What are they doing? What is going on? You guess. If I notice the singer is at times pausing, you know, is is not singing as he or she is not singing at that particular time. I could shine with my reading as at that time, you know, because we are communicating with an audience, all of us at the same time, and. Uh, 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 you don't want some you don't want to clash with the person that is leading you know you don't want to clash with him it might not be a song it could be even be a guitar someone leading with guitar you don't want to clash with the person so if there's if if you are playing and there's a space um that the lead kid twist is leaving you as a, as the one redeeming uh, as the one redeeming you could just blend in that space or the musician is person at the time you could blend in that place you find the best way to like shine with your rhythm that is what i'm saying without killing the song without murdering the song you know <laughs> so 
that is what redeem is all about now how do i form redeem you can form redeem with you know i said understand the, the beat then understand the chord right now you can form redeem with arpeggio of each chord let's say for example the chord is going one five one and five and one and five and one and five and you know the notes inside in one let's say we are in key let's see. one is do then five is so now so that i don't make uh, it a key like c and g or something i want to make it simple so one is do right five is so and you know the the notes in do which in chord of do which is do me so you know the chord the notes in chord of so which is so three right okay so now Let's say we want a form of that. You could choose, you could pick out of the note of that chord and make it a, a uh, um, um, make it a rhythm. Form a rhythm out of those arpeggio. So, now, that is number one way to create arpeggio. Now, another thing is, you might want to think about the position where you should play. Now, it is best you play um, your, your rhythm at this side off of the neck here this range because they are always like their voices I, I can't really explain but <clears throat> the voice out here is much clearer than the voices out here then it depends on the kind of rhythm you are playing and how many guitarists are on the stage or something like that she you get but for me I believe the voice here is usually very good I mean out here usually very good for reading than down here okay so then <clears throat> then the position even though you are playing here it doesn't mean you have to stick there you could always move here you could always move here depending on what you want to form you know like i said if you were playing here before and there's a pause in the scene you can come here to just make some move and then go back here it's still reading you are not slowing it's still the same thing do you get just to make it a bit shine and you know at times if if the if it's a guitar is that is leading and string, it will give you some times to like outshine you know you, you could come here and shift a bit and then create what you want to create for that limited time and go back to what you are the most important thing is just form a very good background for the music make sure the music is going with a very good and understandable background that is the purpose and that is the work of a reading okay so now i'll just create i believe everyone in the group is uh, i mean there is need of this reading is kind of intermediate um, or above that you know. so now i wouldn't start explaining each of the notes i mean each of position you know start saying this is where so is this is where lies and everything like that you know I can't start doing that now since we have not reached uh, we have not done all the positions this is just a, a we just deviated from that so i believe everyone now knows there are five positions perfectly so so that i'll be able to like develop things you know. okay so now i will start simple i'll create rhythms now that uh, um you can work with and make you understand how i did it now, let me create number one. Let me tell you number one thing. You can create rhythm with just a note. Let take for example now. That is a rhythm. That is for one and five. That is one and five. That I said the other thing. You can always create something like that. It's rhythm, but though it's not complex, it might not be sufficient. I know, I know, I know. But it's still a rhythm. That is what I wanted to just understand. Now, if I want to make it a bit complex, I could always change it to two notes each of the chord. So that is two notes. You can make it three notes, which is do me so. You know, I said do me so is called of do now. We already know that. Okay.
Sorry, let me take it again. So, that is for one and five. What I'm just doing is going from the first of the chord to the last one. I could always reverse it, reverse it, going from the last one to the first, like something like this. I'm going from A T so and so so me do. Do you get the first one was do me so, still so, the so still so, sorry. Then the second one is. So me do and let it so. So what I'm just doing is elevating and doing you know, coming down again. So, but it doesn't have to be like that again. I can always you know stack it and make some. I could go from. What I did just do. And I, I jumped to so instead of me. Then I came back to me. Do so mean so from do to so then to me then. So that is also you could also change it like that, and I could play something like this. I went to do me. Then come back to do so, so, t, so. You can just change it like that, manipulate it that way. It's not really limited to do and the one and five. It will be, it can always be applied to other ones like so. You know, or. reading so that is how to just form things you know changes build things in when you are creating reading these ones are still simple ones there are chords, I mean, so rhythms that could be technical were much more complex than that. The most important thing, don't forget, please, is make sure you understand how the music is going. Now, you could have octave of those chords, you know, then, um, so let me try to think something that could form that could go with their octave too. So that is if you want to include their octave, and you don't have to go like the missile this or something like that. I'm just giving an example of all this to make you understand. You don't have to cram them, just understand them and create your own, you know. After watching the video, sit down on your own and try to create things on your own. So that's the beauty, that's the reason for the for watching this. Okay. So I could go something still different, like you know. To include um, the octave now I want to like include the octave to the chord to the rhythm so that it could be much more kind of um, advanced you know so now <clears throat> now let me change the let me change the chords that we are using now I want to make it the chord changes much wider you know these ones are kind of short 
much wider than find suitable um, 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 rhythms for them. Now, I will just play the rhythm first, then try to explain them later. Play them first, re explain later. I will choose some small rhythms and put them together. So, another time, after watching this one that you have digested them, you will go to um, rhythms that are more technical, much more technical than this one, than even the neck. We will start graduating to this place. How you can form rhythm there? There's, still, there's also rhythm here. It doesn't mean you can form rhythm here. But first, we'll deal with this one, then deal with, with that one later. Okay, so um, this one we have a chord of one, six, four, and five. That is what we have in the chord. <clears throat> so what I play was so, which is going from now. We are in the. I want to explain now. Chord of do. You know we have the missile. So it will go like the missile. One, one, three, six, one, three, five. So it's do, mi, so, mi, do. It's like going from do. In, now, I'll, I'll just take, take it like three steps. We have one step here, one step here, and one step here. The first step is do. Second step is me, And the last step is so. So it's like going from the first step to the second step to the third. Then coming back to the second, going back to first. To second, third, second, first, second, third, second first that is what is basically in that in that um <clears throat> in that reading so it's so do me so me do i went from do to me to so back to me do, without changing just anything it's same thing for the fa that is the fourth chord it's same thing for the so to the, to the fifth you know, I said it's one six four five and not one one four five. So that was why I tried to put a la note there. La is la do mi right, which means it could be replaced by um a a, a do chord a do chord that is number one chord. You know we have la do mi to the chord of la and we have do mi so it's only so that it's changing in chord of do that doesn't make it la. So. That was why I played that you heard the other time. So I had it that la just to make it um have the code of la in it, have the note of la in the in the rhythm. So that is what I basically did. It doesn't mean you don't have to cram this code, you can create something like that that is different in a, a, a bit way. That is you can think by yourself and create. So let me create. So um, let's just stop there for today. Rehearse those ones first. Repeat them over and over again. You don't have to cram those ones. Try to develop your own as you feel from it. For, don't, don't forget the um, um, chord changes is very important. You design a chord change. Maybe I want to do fa so. Maybe I want to do so do. Maybe I want to do so la. Maybe I want to do anything. Just understand it. Note the chords that are note the notes of the chord, then you can create something off of that. For now, we have not done adds like we want to add sevens, we want to add nines, we want to add second or something like that. No, no, no. We are still or basically on the page of that particular note of that particular chord. So for now, let's stop there today for now. So we'll continue later. <clears throat> I'll tell you how to develop without adding. Without just putting um um only the notes that are in the code, you can add something out of it to it. You could go beyond those ones and and do it. 
So later we'll be talking about that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, Riaz in Riaz and Riaz again. Now, if you lose this video, it is always available on YouTube. So even if it's not WhatsApp anymore or something, you will go to our channel on YouTube or anything music world. You will always find all the videos there. Thank you for watching this one. Bye-bye.